So this is Discovery Studio Visualizer. Um, I'm just going to go through uh, some of the simple basics just to just to uh, get you started. Uh, it's a very simple download, although the name is a bit strange. Um, it used to be called Acceleris, now it appears to be called Biovia. Anyway, that's the that's the download that I used, and it opens up like this. So I think the best thing to do is just to uh, construct a, uh, a small molecule, and I'll have a pop at um, aspirin, I think. File, new molecule window, and looking at this section here, sketching, select ring. Aspirin is uh, based around the benzene ring. Now that's cyclohexane. So we need to convert it by putting some double bonds in. Go to sketch and just just connect those two carbon atoms. Same thing there. Same thing there. Okay. Go to select. Um, I'm just going to add the hydrogens. There they are. C6H6. That's absolutely fine. Back to sketch. I'm going to put the um, the acid side chain in carbon three. Okay, that's a carbon. That will be an oxygen, I think. And still in sketch. I'm going to put the Ester side chain, methylated ester side chain in. We'll change these carbons for oxygens in a minute. This is another oxygen. And that will be a methyl group. So we need to uh, convert this to a double bond that's very easy. Back into sketch. If I repeat it, it would go to triple bond. There. But we can undo that very easily using that uh, blue back arrow there. Any, any mistakes, which are often frequent, uh, just press the back, uh, the blue back arrow. Okay, back into select. This time I'm holding down shift. These all need to be oxygens. Basically, if anything's highlighted, you can manipulate it or, or move it around the place. So, looking for table on the left, go to oxygen, obviously, click OK, and there they are. So, we'll just check for hydrogen again. Add, and that looks OK. OK, hide the hydrogens. So what can we do with this? Um, right mouse click will rotate it Ooh, any way you want. Okay. And holding down the middle scroll button, we'll move it around on mouse until you get dizzy. Uh, and using the scroll button, we'll zoom in or whoa out there we go so let's measure a couple of distances uh, holding down shift again let's just highlight those two and uh, go to structure monitor is that 2.2.969 angstrom okay and to highlight uh, an angle, that's also very easy. Holding down shift. Same, same, same uh, process, structure, monitor, angle. And that's nicely obscured. 133.48 degrees. Mm. I can show you what the left mouse button does. 
that's just holding it down continuously. There are other ways of selecting everything, but that's a quick way of doing it. Uh, you can select past the molecule. So if I were to um, so if I were to hold down control and right click, that should rotate it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to go back. There we go, back to where we started. Um, I should mention clean ge geometry at this point. Uh, on the left there, it, oh, it, it's telling what it does. It uh, alters the bond angles and bond lengths to form the, uh, to create the uh, the lowest energy configuration. And you can see that's, that's altered those values a little bit. The clean geometry is very important. Well, <laughs> that's the official way of doing it. <laughs> there is in fact a shortcut, <laughs> which is what I use all the time. Um, the original uh, Accelerus was a, a 2D program. That's it there. That's that's aspirin again. That took me a few seconds to put that together. Um, it's Accelerus Draw 4.2. I think it was about 2012 or 2013. Um, I was a humble level two student when we first accessed that. This is very easy to use. It's so easy. I'm not even going to show you how to, to use it. Uh, if you store it, for a file it as a, as a dot more. Okay, you can open it up in the DSV. And there it is. That can happen sometimes with Accelerus. Um, all the information's there, but no graphic. So just click sketch and it will appear. There it is. I'm just going to alter the configuration there, the, uh, the display style rather. Um, go to scale ball and stick, because I like scale ball and stick. And that looks very similar to, whoops. Looking that we had, except those oxygens are in a different place. So just a little bit of tinkering there. Um, that's the basic basics uh, of a Discovery Studio Visualizer.